Hey YouTube, this is my last Soto Street Fighter review for a little while. I've got Aidan coming in the post, waiting very much, hoping he'd be here today, but he's not. So there we go. So this is my last one for today, at least. Um, I'm going to um, Milton Keynes Collector Mania this weekend, so hopefully I'll have some more bits yay, to pick up and show you next week. Uh, once I get them, I'll do them. But, but here is, this is the Soto Street Fighter electric see-through blanker. The closest I've been able to get to his red and orange standard thing. I can't find that thing anywhere and it's driving me crazy but here we go. And this figure would almost satisfy my need but for one thing. Look at his head. Yeah it looks nice, it looks great. Can you see the big lump of a green plastic through his hair that's holding it together? You can see it from every angle, and it ruins it. If it didn't have that, I honestly can say that I wouldn't bother getting the other one, because the paint apps are so good. The paint they use on this is brilliant. I mean, look at his trout well, his shorts. They're a really nice paint app. It looks really good. And then around there, I love the paint apps on this guy. If I couldn't see that bit of green plastic that's connecting the head and the hair together, I'd be happy with just this figure, but unfortunately it does. So I'm not entirely happy with this figure. I thought about selling it because I've got the yellow blue variant, but I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to keep them both. But I'll give you a quick look. Um, and obviously, if you want to look at any more of this in depth, I've done a full review of the yellow blue turbo blanker, so you can have a look. But I'm going to give you a quick look here as well, just so you can see all the paint apps and how good it is. So there's the other head that this guy comes with, his screaming head. I have this one on my yellow one, so this one goes on this one. Comes with a skull. Comes with his fists. Oh dear. Fists. A bitten melon and a pineapple. Random, but there we go. Uh, this hand is moulded to hold these things better. So, you can hold a pineapple. Urgh, stay away from my pineapple. Urgh. Or he can hold his melon. Urgh. Yummy melon. Urgh. Or his skull. And which is. Urgh, I killed someone. Urgh. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well. Sorry about that. Um. This is from the same guy that got my other figures that I've just reviewed, and they're all loose joints. He played with them like like crazy, and all the bits and pieces fall off. Luckily, I just display stuff, so once I've got it displayed, it's done. Anyway, um, articulation, the same as the yellow one. Shoulder in and out, 360. There's a bicep, a single elbow, and the regular twist and floppy on there. His hair, by the way, these bits of hair. A nice rubber, the same on the other one, it's not hard plastic, it's rubbery. And his hair again is, is soft rubber. Articulation of the legs, ball joint 360, double knee joint, and then the ankle, and the twist, and the toes. So, and the toenails, look at the toenails, the paint apps. Usually on these see through figures, the paint apps are pretty average. But this one's actually really, really good. It's, you know, they've you clearly used a better paint so as not to ruin. The finish because usually they use the same paint. It doesn't look as good. It's it just doesn't look great. But this they you can see they've put thought into it and tried. So it's good if you you know want to get a few of these blankers. I would. I'm not upset that I've got more than one. Um, and I can highly recommend this one. He seems to be a little bit cheaper. Um, so if you want to get a blanker, like I say, this is the closest I've been able to get to the uh, red orange standard one rather than variant. Um, and he's a little bit easier to pick up, so have a look, see if you can find this one. A bit cheaper, a bit easier to pick up, but quite happy. If you can get away with not being upset by the lump of green plastic in the hair, he's a really nice figure. So there we go, YouTube. Thank you very much, and goodbye.